Okay, let us talk about ratios. And the most fundamental thing we want to understand ratios is why do we need to study about them, all right? So let's say if I give you two numbers and those numbers happen to be 16 and 4. And I ask you a very basic fundamental question, which one is bigger, okay? You will simply say that, of course, it's easy, 16 is bigger than 4, correct? Then my next question is, how much more is 16 compared to 4? And you will say that 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So the number 16 is 12 units more than the number 4, correct? Now, my third question is very different compared to the first two. My third question is, how many times, how many times 16 is bigger than 4? So you will say that 16 is equal to 4 times 4. That means 16 is 4 times as much bigger than the number 4, correct? And that is exactly where the concept of ratio comes in. Ratio of two quantities is a fraction that shows how many times quantity 1 is of quantity 2, all right? Okay, so given this knowledge, if I convert my number 16 as a general number A and number 4 as a general number B, so that A and B can take any integers or whole numbers or negative numbers, anything, right? Then we define ratio of two numbers by definition as A is to B, which can also be represented as in fraction a over b with a necessary condition that b is not equal to zero. This is the mathematical way of writing ratios, all right? And you notice I used a symbol here. It is called colon. That separates two quantities and it tells us the ratio between two quantities a and b can be written as in a fraction mode a over b, okay? As simple as that. So this is our fundamental definition of ratio, all right? So now in this ratio, the first number A is called antecedent, and I will write this here. This is called antecedent, all right? And the number B is called subsequent, okay? So the ratio is always of two numbers, and you can say that they are antecedent is to subsequent, okay? Now, let us go through some examples to get a deeper understanding on the concept of ratio. Okay, my first example is find the ratio of 3 kilometers to 300 meters, all right? My first number is 3 kilometer and the second number is 300 meters. So the first thing I want to do is I want to convert these numbers into the same unit of measurement because kilometer is not the same as meter. So we know that one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 3 kilometer can be rewritten as 3000 meters and now we can find the ratio of 3000 meters to 300 meters, okay? Now, of course, we can say that this can be rewritten as A over B where A is 3000 and B is 300 and simply 300 is dividing 3000 and it becomes 10. So I will say my ratio of 3 kilometers to 300 meters is 10 is to 1, okay? So the key point here is always be cautious on what kind of unit you are putting in a ratio and you want to bring all measurements to the same unit level. Let's go through the second example. My example number two is what is the ratio of a dollar to a quarter, okay? So one dollar to a quarter. A quarter we know is 25 cents, right? Now, we want to compare these two quantities, but we want to bring dollars into the same unit of measure as cents. So we will say that $1 is equal to 100 cents, right? And 25 cents is 25 cents as it is. And in the terms of ratio, we can say that now it is 100 to 25, which is 4 is to 1. So $1 is 4 times of 25 cents. Let's take one more example. In this, a teacher asks her students, suppose the height of your school building is 25 feet. Let's say this is the height of school building. All right. And the height of a mobile tower next to your school building is 50 feet. So the next object we are comparing is a mobile tower. All right. So we'll write down as we are reading the statement. So this one is 25 feet and the mobile tower is 50 feet. How would you compare the heights of these two objects, okay? 
Now these are in the same unit of measurement so I can simply convert them into this ratio which is 25 over 50 or it can be reduced down to 1 over 2 because 25 divides 50 as you go through the division method right. So you can say that the height of school building to the mobile tower if I were to write it differently it is 1 is to 2 or which is the same thing as 25 is to 50. Okay, so we will stop here for ratios and we go to our next topic which is about proportions.